Hi, I'm Heidi Hunt. I'm on the editorial staff of Mother Earth News Magazine, and I'm here with you today to talk about how to tie a square knot and when you might want to use one. You might have first been introduced to square knots um, if you were in Boy Scouts or Girl Scouts and you had a uniform scarf. This isn't a Girl Scout scarf, but it'll do the trick. So you can make a very attractive knot in a scarf by using a square knot. By tying it thus, you end up with a very attractive knot that just hangs comfortably like that. But in general, square knots are usually used for tying bundles, for tying packages, for tying bandages, and in many macrame projects. So let's talk about how to tie a square knot. This piece of the rope that has some tape on it is known as the working end of the rope. It just helps for you to see how the rope gets tied. So you remember, might remember this little ditty from when you were in scouting. Right over left and under, left over right and under. That's what the square knot looks like when it's finished. And if it's done correctly, it looks like these two little loops that can slide back and forth with each other. Let's try that again. You take the, knot, the rope in your right hand with the tape on it, and you put it over the top of the rope without the tape, twist it around, and that makes a granny knot. Now, you take the left hand rope, put it back over the right hand rope, making a second granny knot, pull it, and you end up with a knot that the two edges will slide in and out like this. It looks attractive and it holds well. That's all on knot tying for today. For more tips on self-sufficient living, go to MotherEarthNews.com.